YouTubers, it's here back at you with yet another beer review. And now that fall has kissed my lips here, and we've now noticed that fall is in the air, it's time to get into some bigger beers. Uh, it's been nice doing saisons, and yeah, I did a good amount of stouts and barley wine stuff too through the summer. But today we're looking at the latest release from Goose Island. This is the Muddy Imperial Stout. This is an amplified sweetness with licorice notes. So this is an Imperial Stout. I think it's a take on... Uh, what they brewed many years ago, like Big John, without the cocoa nibs, they're just using brewer's licorice, or this is just one of their base imperial stouts that's entirely new to the lineup. Either way, it was bottled on August 6, 2014. I can smell the licorice. 9%, 32 IBUs. Let's go ahead and get a pour here. Check it out. Yeah, it, it, it pours more of an imperial porter to me, but it is opaque in the glass. It's got some nice, you know, fingers worth a head. Big brewer's licorice notes. Holy goodness. If you told me that was the only ingredient that was featured in this beer, I'd believe you. Nice touch of dark fruits underneath. A um, lot of sweet notes. Um, some of that uh, caramel, chocolate. Definitely dark fruit sweetness coming through this one. This one does not really wow me in the nose. I'm a little worried by how sweet it smells, so let's go ahead and get the taste. Cheers. Wow. Yeah, immediately you're smacked in the face with that brewer's licorice, and if you don't like a black licorice or even a licorice in general flavor, um, you're not going to like this one. Um, I don't dislike it. I just don't like it to be the main dominant featured theme in a beer. You know what this tastes immediately like to me? This tastes like a half-assed Dark Lord. Um, it packs the sweetness. It's, it's, it's one of the sweetest beers I've ever put in my mouth. Um, little to no roasted character. Little to no hot bitterness. I mean, 32 IBUs on an Imperial Stout to me just doesn't really add up. Um, I don't know really what they were going for here. They're definitely going for a sweet beer. It does say, will remain fresh for 180 days after the bottle on date. That sounds really AB and Bev and really Budweiser. So if they're saying three months from now is when you should drink this 9% Imperial Stout, um, or between now and then. Yeah, I'm just, whoa. Brewer's licorice, sweet molasses, sweet sugars, um, dark fruits, plums. But that licorice is truly the main thing here, and it's really detracting from everything else that makes a good imperial stout. Uh, wow, really disappointed in this one. I uh, really don't even understand releasing it. I'd rather have more Big John or even Night Stalker at that point, and you can almost scrap those and just make more Blueprint County. All right, well, that's my little rant about uh, the Muddy, the latest Imperial Stout from Goose Island Brewing Company. Um, I don't really know how to rate this one, guys. It's it's a really half-assed effort, and it really shows the um, AB and Bev type uh, colors coming through here. This is a beer that, to me, um, slaps a name on something, slaps a cool label on something, and really, really does not deliver. It's just half-assed. So, uh, I'm going to go 73 out of 100. I don't like it. I don't recommend it. And um, if you do like it, tell me why. So we'll definitely see you again in the next beer review, guys. Bourbon County season's coming up. Darkness Day is coming up. And another very special treat's coming up. But we'll uh, attend to that later. So cheers.